It's a very, very special three questions with Lainey Rao. Okay. This is very special because this is actually, we're doing, we're going to do some different questions today because Lainey actually has a new book out and it is called Evolving with Gratitude. Boom, got some applause going. Thank you. So, and I'm lucky enough to have published this with Impress. And uh, Lainey and I actually, what's really kind of cool is we actually kind of became friends on the podcast. Hundred percent. Like this right. is like very special to me. I'm like returning to where it all started. Right. That is. Yeah. That actually. Yeah. That is kind of weird because like that that book wasn't even. It wasn't even like in the cards when we first met, and that wasn't that long ago too. Right. It was like not even a year and a half ago. Yep. It's yeah, approaching a year and a half, but not quite. And if you our anniversary me, down, is that what you're telling me? I I have our friends' anniversary in my friends phone. I'll let I'll it. let you know when it's coming up. But I love it. When um, when we had our first conversation where we became BFFs, and I know mm -hmm. that that right. other people would claim that, but for me, it's true. Right. Um, <laughs> for, for sure, you know, for sure, West Coast. For sure. Okay, I right. will take the territory. This right. one. Um, but if you had told me at that time that we would be having this conversation, I would have been nothing less than shocked. Like it just, I it. it I would just been like, oh my God, really? This is all going to happen? I am going to get to like, first of all, be friends with George. Stop, no, and don't even start with this. Okay. No, I'm, I'm doing this. this. That, we're going there. And, but also just like, you've been such an incredible mentor. And so I, it's, it's just a little surreal having this conversation right now. Just, yeah, I, well, I know uh, you're not asking for this listen, and you don't like yeah, it. I'm not asking for this. And so the, yeah. the, the, the thing that I appreciate, like we, and this is something that people don't necessarily know. It's kind of the behind the scenes of the podcast. Um, one of the things I'm really always been about relationships and for me, people, a lot of times will come on my podcast and they're nervous, you know, before, especially, and I, I'm also part of the reason they're nervous in the sense that I don't send questions or anything. We just talk, right. We just no conversations. <laughs> and so, um, because I just want it to be like an authentic conversation. And so what I do before, um, the podcast is I always just sit and we just talk and we just kind of hang out and chill out and get people relaxed. And then I'll say, okay, let's go. And then we'll start. And then people are just way more comfortable with that process where I know, and I'm not slighting anyone for doing this, but I've been on podcasts where they're, it's recording the second you walk in and I'm like swearing and doing stuff. And then I look and see the little red light. I'm like, oh, wow, you're gonna have to edit that part out. Cause I wasn't ready for that. Right. <laughs> so you kind of want to get that out, but we actually spent more time talking before the podcast than the actual podcast right and so th that was like the best conversation right it was like it was like i didn't know what to expect i had right. no idea like i had Neither did I. I i just didn't know i was like okay well mm. i'm gonna do this with the george Kuros again i know you're not oh. asking for this but uh and and i just couldn't believe it i was just you're very disarming. It was such a wonderful conversation. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is like so enjoyable. I could talk oh, to I this appreciate guy that. forever. I appreciate that. Yeah. And that was, that was, and what, you know, what I appreciate you is all the gratitude that you shared, which makes <laughs> this the perfect. And actually here, I'm doing this. Here's the cover right here. Evolving with gratitude. Do you see it? Oh, wow. yes. I can. Do you see, see it? it? Like, Ooh, there's the I cover evolving gratitude. So if you're not watching on YouTube, you know, Click like and subscribe and comment too. And actually, let's do this. Um, we're going to give a book away to three people. Okay. Three people. And Impress will do that. So okay. shout out to Impress Publishers. <laughs> right. To, here's, so here's what you're going to do. Okay. So three people. Yeah. Yes. You have to do this on YouTube. Anyone that's listening. If you write someone you are grateful for in education and why you're grateful for them in the comments we will find those people and then we'll contact you and we'll send you a signed book can we do that Lainey? Absolutely. absolutely okay so there you go so look people are winning prizes already we didn't even, this this is what we do we don't even plan stuff we just go i love it that's very generous thank you i'm excited for this yes so the special three questions because we've actually done the three questions before and you actually were wrote also because you're because of teacher <laughs> right you were one of the, the original authors of the first because of a teacher. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three questions, but I'm not going to do those three questions. We're going to do a little bit different. And so, right. um, so the first one 
because the book is about gratitude. So yes. like, you, you better knock this one out of the park. This is a big one. Okay. So what, like when you, when you hear the term gratitude, like what does that even mean? I feel like a lot of pressure here, but I, and I will say that it is a ton of pressure, but I will say, um, you know, I, I write books, not because I have all the answers, but because I want answers. Mm -hmm. And so it was really so fun for me to take this deep dive on what is gratitude? Why should we be practicing it? How is it going to impact um, our learning communities? And so what I, what I kind of came to understand is it's like this recognizing and appreciating something in your life. Mm -hmm. And then what my deep dive kind of revealed, and I looked at the science and the experts and Dr. Robert Emmons talks about like, yes, it's that, but it's also acknowledging that the external and a lot of times it's people are kind of what bring that positive to us. So like something good mm -hmm. has happened and yes, sometimes it is ourselves, but a lot of times it's other people helping right. us in big or small ways. And so to me, that was like the really interesting thing because learning is very social. Our learning communities are connected. It's all about relationships. Right. Yep. And so that was really something I wanted to dive deeper into. And, and I think, and this is, this is, we were kind of talking about this when the book was going on. Cause I think a lot of times people hear like, oh, gratitude is like fluff stuff. Right. And like, right. I'm just calling what it is. Right. Sure. Yeah. And one of the conversations that we said is like, Hey, you have to show how this actually improves learning. It's not like just a, it's just not just like, oh, I'm like really into gratitude. And I think it's important. It's like, Hey, this is actually beneficial to, to kids learning. And now that, now this is not one of the questions, but like, can you give us an example of something that you found that was like, hey, this is actually, this is why it's beneficial to learning in schools. Yeah. So, gosh, there's a few things. I'm going to try and articulate. Only do one well. because this is a teaser. Fine. Okay, fine. You got to um, get the book to get all the other parts. A lot of pressure. Um, I, I would even just say looking at the neuroscience of mm -hmm. when you're experiencing gratitude and that serotonin and dopamine that's released, like, and, and I know Sean Aker talks about this, like mm. that actually floods the brain and turns on like all the learning centers. I hear what you're saying. People are going to think gratitude and they're going to think fluff, but I'm really trying right. to bring the science and the heart into this. I want, I want people to know both like, yes, it's, it's not all, um, you know, and Mandy Frey, like she's going to be on the evolving with gratitude podcast. And she's like, <laughs> yes, yes, for Mandy. Mandy's a multiple time <laughs> guest on the podcast here. Too. Of course, she's awesome. And, you know, she said something to the effect of, you know, it's not like all, you know, rainbows and chasing bunnies in a field. Like, it's mm. apparently, Although that would be fun. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really much deeper than that. And so, again, I write to, to learn. And this was a really, really mm -hmm. just wonderful experience learning about how deep this actually goes. And you did a wonderful job of connecting that too. And I think I think that was something that we talked about that was really powerful. And I just appreciate how you brought other people in, which actually leads to the second question. And you have been, I appreciate all the kind words that you've said about me, which is really, really nice. So I'm like eliminating myself from this, this answer. Because it's like, oh, so who is someone like you're really grateful for? Um, you know, just, just in the past that has, you know, maybe helped you has been an influence on you. Um, that's, you know, made an impact or, you know, just, yep. and it can be in and out or education. Who's someone you're grateful for? I am going to choose, and this is hard because honestly, I, I, I know you'll basically like, whoever you say is your favorite person. Oh, and well, you, I understand that. <laughs> I know this is such a trap, but, um, so let me just say that. Just say the first, say the okay. first person that comes to your mind, not okay. your favorite. Because okay. we already first, know you said your favorite. Is you. Yes. Right. So, okay. so we already know. This is like second. So I want to share someone who, um, there's a gratitude practice uh, called mental subtraction or counterfactual thinking where you can kind of think of a person or event and remove them from your life. Like what would your life be like? And one person that I think of is Alan November. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't met him when I did, if he hadn't given me so many opportunities, if he hadn't had so much faith in me, and if he hadn't seen in me what I did not see in myself, what I don't think other people picked up on right away. Like if he hadn't given me those opportunities, mm -hmm. I would be on a very different path. And I love what I do. 
And so I am very, very grateful that he took that chance on me. He saw good things in me um, and he took every opportunity just like you do. I know I'm not supposed to point to you, but to amplify and raise me up. And that was um, something that was just profound, truly profound. Alan November. Better be, yeah, see, Alan November better tweet this out and sell the podcast, right? Getting a little shout out. So, yeah, and uh, that that is, uh, I think, one of the things that I've really been passionate about is sometimes, like, we're it's really important that you kind of, you know, lift yourself up because I know a lot of times it can be hard uh, to do that. But I think sometimes it just becomes easier when someone does it, helps you see that in yourself, right? Like, some of the people in my life that saw something in me when I had no idea and then it, made it come to the forefront is really, really helpful. And it's one of the reasons I appreciate this. Now I have one more question for you, but I'm actually just kind of going off script here now. Oh boy. And uh, yeah. And so you, you wrote the book pretty quick, right? You wrote the book pretty, and it's not, and I, I think a lot of times when people um, see that it's like, oh, you were like rushed or hurried or anything like that. But I felt that you wrote it cause you were just kind of like super passionate about it. Right. And like, and I know I, I write books when I've written books in the past, I write them very quick because I cannot function for any amount of time uh, while writing. Cause all I think about is the book. Do you know yep. what I mean? Like it's just, I like, we'll wake up in the middle of the night, I'll write notes and it's just not good for my health. And so um, what was like something, you know, for people that are listening that maybe want to write a book, you know, what, what was like, um, one of the challenges that you maybe had through this process, and this is like a bonus, bonus question. I see, uh, but I'm like, I don't know. What's uh, on the, What's on the board? This is like, no oh, bonus. <laughs> this is like epic podcast. I love that. I love that. So you don't just get the regular questions. You get bonus, which I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna get like a copyright strike from like Beethoven. So okay, so that's amazing. Okay, so challenge. That's what you want to know. Okay. What's one I of the challenges that you had when you're writing the book? Because we okay, you, so you did, you did, and it was like, what was the challenge you had? Yeah. So I think there is so much amount of time you have to to dedicate to writing a book, but mm. and, and it did it took years to write Evolving Learner with Christy Andre and Lauren Steinman. Um, it was a, it was a much more stretched out process, which mm -hmm. you know has has its own challenges. I think because you wanted to release it right in March of 2020. Yeah, that was not the plan. <laughs> that was the plan. Let's <laughs> let's just stretch this out to the let's best. Sure, possible. Yeah, let's make sure we launch on the day the world shuts down. <laughs> but um, but bigger things going on. It was fine, and and the All book right. has done well. But. Uh, I didn't, and I know it's like my first child, no disrespect to my first child. I didn't have the sense of urgency <laughs> with that book that right. I did with this book because other people were writing about professional learning, but I haven't heard anyone really writing about gratitude in the education space. And I just, I became obsessed with it. Right. And I just, um, so I think you're, I, it sounds like you're like me. It's like when you have something that is like just right. dying to get out of you, it, other things can, can suffer like sleep. <laughs> 100%. 100%. So that has been uh, a little bit of a challenge, but I, I know I've told you this before, George, this has been the most joyful experience of my life. Mm -hmm. I really have, have savored and loved every minute of this. And as impatient as I am, and I'm mm -hmm. a, a pretty impatient person, like I want stuff done, which has its bonuses, but it, it sometimes can be just really frustrating. Like, I have just really been better at, at loving this process, but I still want it out there. So, so the challenge is impatience. The challenge is like it's consumed me, but in the best way. So what's beautiful about this is you, when you talk about this, I actually noticed that while you're writing this book, you became actually more grateful. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, yeah. it, what, like you, it, like there's something about like, but you, it, it, it brought something out in you that I think has manifested in that process too. So like, it wasn't that you just wrote about it. You started living it more yep. and you see the more benefits. So, so this actually beautifully leads to the last question. So we talked about, you know, that, that gratitude, that outward gratitude, but like, what about like, what is something that you're grateful for from yourself? I'm grateful that I took a giant leap of faith for myself. 
-hmm. And I did something that, and I, and I have contributors. Thank you to you for contributing. Your wife, Paige Kuros, also publishing, you know, and and writing. Um, but I really took a leap of faith here and mm -hmm. just said, I want to talk about this topic, even though it's not one that I have a long history with. It's just right. something I'm really passionate. And you and I've talked about this before too. It's like, sometimes you can overthink things and talk yourself out of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to myself for not letting myself talk. I'm not talking myself out of it and for right. taking a leap of faith. And, and I think that that to me, so one of, one of my strengths, I know this about myself is that I don't overthink stuff. I just do it. And then I see yeah. what happens. And I think, and I think that's, I think, you know what you said, I think that's a really important point because you tend to just kind of get in your own head and you become your biggest enemy in the process. And I'm not saying you specifically, I'm talking about right. others as well, that you're like, Oh, here's why this wouldn't work. We, we really often tend to think what could go wrong as opposed to what could go right. How could this actually benefit us mm -hmm. long term? And I think that's a, a really important switch. But that was, uh, I, I appreciate you sharing all that. I appreciate you being on. That was legitness. Yeah. That was legitness. <laughs> well, how have I not heard that one before? That's I only use one button on this thing and there's like 5,000. So that was whatever. a deep reach. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But they, um, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I'm really excited, and you can actually, um, you can see, remember, this is a, a contest. If you write someone you're grateful for and what they did in the comments, you can win a signed copy. We're doing this for three people in the comments, right? So you can win a buck, but check out um, Evolving with Gratitude. You can see it right here. You see? You can you see it? Can you, Lainey, can you see it? I see it. I see it. Can I say one more thing before we wrap? Please. Okay. Just wait, just wait. Here it is. Go. There it is. So can I add a can I add a part B to my answer about mm -hmm. grateful to myself? Mm -hmm. You can. <laughs> I'm grateful to myself that I was smart enough to bring other voices into the book. Right. And I want to take a minute to thank all of the contributors. We have people from all over the world, and they are amazing thought leaders, brilliant educators, and their stories, I am confident will touch your heart and stretch your thinking. Shout out other contributors. Okay. All right. Well, hey, Lainey, thanks for taking the time out of your day. I know that it's always, you know, that you have to talk to me for other parts of it too. And that's <laughs> always something I know you don't look forward to. You are a bright spot. Spot in Whatever. my life, Whatever. George. What are you talking about? Whatever. Anyway, say hey, check out the book Evolving with Gratitude. Thanks for being with us, Lainey. Thank you so much for writing this and for um, you know, teaching me how to be more grateful for the things that are in my life. And so uh everyone check out the book right here, right here. But hey, thanks again for being on the podcast and thanks everyone for listening. Thank there we go. Woo